The story focuses on Yohin Do, a psychopath who protects a girl that he likes, secretly. Not having the confidence to approach her, Yohin watches her every move from afar. In other words, he's a stalker. But there's a twist in it that could justify his wrongdoings. Anyways, Yohin would literally do anything for Daejong. He doesn't show any mercy to people who harm her. If you're interested in a character that is unorthodox, a character that is usually either a side character or an antagonist, then you should definitely check it out. The manhwa reminds me of Tokyo Ghoul, in the way that they are both a psychological and tragic story. You could also consider it a seinen-esque, in the way that it is probably targeted towards an older demographic with mature themes. From the beginning until the end, there were a lot of good twists. The biggest twist which happened around the two-third of the story really made me overthink at the time I read that part. Yohin Do, as I said is a psychopath stalker who secretly protects Daejong from harm. The character is also portrayed as a genius. Although this is only an assumption, he can ace a test without reviewing. How I wish I was as clever as him. Yohin also has a photographic memory. He remembers everything that he sees clearly like a picture. So you can say he's like a computer or an electronic device. How I wish I had an ability like that. Daejong Lee, an orphan who was left with his auntie that was sadly diagnosed with cancer. Daejong's a kind yet tough person. She is similar to Bakugo and Malti from Hunter x Hunter, in the way that they help victims of bullying. There were a lot of occurrences where she was saved by Yohin, one of those were on a rainy day, where she was abducted by a group of people on a vehicle. The story is dark, tragic, and twisted. As you immerse yourself into the story, you start to see the reasons behind the actions of the individual characters, such as the main protagonist and antagonists. As mysteries began to unfold, I started to wonder what would have happened if this and that never happened. What would have happened if things were normal? Whenever I thought of this, I sometimes thought that the writer did a good job. The elements are both bitter and sweet. In other words, it's bittersweet. But of course, the series also has its own share of flaws. Unfortunately there were a lot of wasted aspects of the narrative. Half of the deaths weren't that much impactful, they didn't have a proper build-up for me to care that much or even feel anything. Even though most of them were minor characters, they could have been more fleshed out and could have lasted longer. Going on to the other half, there was a particular demise that significantly affected me. How that character died and said his goodbye really hit me. My tears were on the verge of falling when he said his last few words. Characters weren't also that much fleshed out, their developments were lacking. Few of the many examples are Saiyan, Gia, and Teddy. They were dropped and hinted as people who would be integral to the story. In the end, they weren't exploited nor used sufficiently. Even Yohin's development with his friends were lacking, in fact there was none at all. Yohin is a social misfit and apathetic towards other people other than Daejong. But that side of him faded gradually. With the help of his friends, he somehow shifted slowly into an ordinary high school student. Unfortunately his bonding and connection with them were off-screened and had no development, which was really a bummer. There were also wasted setups, such as the time where Yohin's feelings for Daejong seemingly changed. But in the end, that setup was useless, it was never dug any deeper. The school audience are bystanders, if you know what I mean. The petty characters that are utilized for reactions. They were going okay-ish at first, but in the second half or something, they weren't used no more. Using this manhwa as a reference, in terms of writing, I would give the author a 7.5. It could improve to 9 or 9.5 if the author works on his flaws, since they really have the potential to be on the same reins of other well-written series. I don't know if the author has some other works or has an incoming one. Either way if he ever comes back, I'll be looking forward to his next work. About the narrative's ending chapters, they were okay, albeit there were two aspects that I didn't like. Overall this manhwa has a lot of flaws. But nevertheless it's a great story, 